you may be wondering where Mikey went. It looks like she has abandoned me here, but she's actually stepped outside the studio to meet up with our next guest. You know, lately we have been visiting with Penguin, our PTL pup, at his house via Skype, but today Penguin and his puppy Razors took a field trip and came to us. So Mikey is right outside the station with Penguin and Jill and Jack Sabo. Hello to everybody. Hey, David, I stepped outside. It's raining outside, but that's okay because I am with our PTL puppy, Penguin, and his puppy raisers, Jack and Jill Sabo. Good morning, guys. Morning. All right, so I know uh, Penguin has been out a lot since we've entered into the green phase, but I heard he's, he's made it to Home Depot. <laughs> yes, we've been to Home Depot a couple times, and the first time we went, it was a little like he forgot how to be a service dog out in public, but <laughs> he got back to it quickly, and he's been doing really well. He walks in real nice with you, he sits with you, and he's just been wonderful, not being too distracted by the other people or the other things going on. On. So he's been he got he caught caught up quick and he's doing really well. Yeah, and so you're just trying to get him accustomed to being in stores, being around people, kind of things that he's going to do on a daily basis when he gets his new home. Exactly. You never know what he's going to do, so you want to expose him to as many different things as possible, so that whenever he encounters something when he's actually working, he'll love saying, "I've seen that before. I can handle this. I'm good." Yeah, and and I also heard he had a puppy play date too. Yes, he did. So Penguin invited one of his best friends we call uh, Jessa which is another canine companions assistance dog his girlfriend so uh -oh. penguin invited his girlfriend over to swim and just to play and have so much fun it was an awesome experience they worked on a little bit of training but they had a lot of fun in the process oh that's good and i've been hearing rumors about this is penguin starting his own calendar what's this about yes <laughs> so each year canine companions for independence publishes a puppy calendar mm -hmm. so they highlight 12 dogs from their over 4,000 assistance dogs for one each month of uh, of the year and penguin wants to try to be featured on the calendar so even though they only take 12 dogs penguin is really trying to get featured on the calendar so we need his fans help to pick which photo he submits for yeah, the calendar. Been he's been posting his, his glamour shots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has. So there are four photos on his Facebook page. So we're asking fans to comment which photo they think Penguin should send in. Yeah. And if he makes it to the finals, then hopefully we will ask fans to vote for him so that he can be on the calendar. Well, that's great. I'm excited about that. Well, guys, it was so great to see you in person. And Penguin, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. It's great to be down here again. Uh, all right, great, guys. All right, David, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you so much, Mikey, and Jill, and Jack, and Penguin as well. And I love the calendar idea, so weigh in and tell them which picture you think is the best one.